EK, Real Spicy, back again for another one. We ain't gonna waste too much of your time. Let's go ahead and get into this clip. Like that. Oh, what if there was no men who would protect the women? Protect us from who? Lions and tigers and bears. Do y'all think women don't kill people? Do y'all think women don't SA people? Do y'all think women don't run people over? Do y'all think women don't rob people? Do y'all think women don't break into people? Do y'all think women don't abuse kids? Again, what is with this notion that women as a whole, like as a monolith, are just harmless human beings? Y'all can't even protect yourselves from each other. I'm literally from a city where we are taught you are not to go over her house. You are not to go over that little girl's house. Why? Because she can set you up to be killed. Exactly. And, you know, honestly, what was her point in the first place, right? What was she saying that men have to protect women from men? Newsflash, there's only men and women on the planet. Yes, protection deals with lies, tigers, bears, a cockroach, other men, and yes, from other women as well. Again, you know, women feel like just because they're making more money that they don't need men anymore. And the bottom line is there are a lot more value to a man. And I get it. Women like to downplay a man's value. So men end up giving up more and getting less. And then there's this notion that if men weren't on the planet, that women would be able to suffice and be able to live happily ever after. And there will be no violence and, you know, uh, there will be no need to protect women if there were no men on the planet. And that is simply untrue. Right. I just saw I'm in Vegas and I see all kind of crazy situations where it leads to kidnapping, murder, all the bad news. And you see a lot of women setting up other women. And you see a lot of women setting up other men, right? They're going on a date, they lure on men for another man to, uh, to rob them, or two women, three women rob a man. And then let's not forget all the things that men build and create. Those things are involved in the protection as well, right? The spearheading of new advances of technology. Not that women don't have anything to do with that, but men are heavily involved in that. Always thinking about pushing forward and things that one may need for the future. That's part of the protection as well. If you just had only women and you cut all the advancements that men make, that men strive to make on a daily basis, then I don't know how you could say this world would be in a better place. Let's just say it like that. The bottom line is I hear a lot of women say that they don't need men and I don't hear men saying they don't need women. Men just want women to listen and to take heed to what some of the things that men want as well. Relationship isn't just what a woman wants and what a woman needs. It's, it's two people involved in a relationship and men are just tired of putting in a lot of effort into the relationship and doing what a man needs to do. And, you know, we go over the long list all the time, right, of what men are supposed to do in a relationship. And so men are just, you know, asking women to listen to what men want as well right and a lot of the times the, the list is a lot shorter and it's, just, and it's just getting apparent that women just despise men or at the very least wish that they didn't need to lean as heavily on men they're constantly trying to figure out how they can live without men that goes hand in hand with the distrust that men are having when it comes to getting into a long-term relationship because they don't even know if the woman really likes them or not or women just using the man just in the short term in order to accomplish whatever they're trying to accomplish or to have a softer life. A lot of women feel like they just can do no wrong. 